Wichita, Daisy Rodriguez is behind is huge. His heart was bigger Thursday against North Carolina State. But that's getting ahead of the story. Eyes, S and that, R, that padding is the first blush takeaway from Seton Hall's 94-83 first round win over North Carolina State in a Midwest regional opener. It might as well be a warning shot at Kansas in Saturday's second round game, too. The eighth-seeded Pirates just have the look of a team that matches up with the Midwest's no. One seed, center Angel Delgado is a 6'10", 245-pound center from the Dominican Republic who is going to match up with the recovering Udoka as UBK, sprained MCL. Guard Kadeem Carrington got to the line 13 times and scored 26. There are four senior starters, experience, Yaul, in a sport that obsesses over one and Duns Rodriguez, one of those seniors, not only carries 220 pounds on his 6'6 frame, but a rump that admittedly can get him a lot of places on the court as the Pirates' leading scorer. The senior from the Bronx came to Seton Hall as a post player, switched to a four and now plays as swingman able to operate above the arc or in the post. Let's just say he's versatile scoring 20 points in only his second game since Feb. 21, more on that below, in a dervish of a game that could have featured more NBA talent than Kansas might want to consider, the Pirates won their first tournament game in 14 years. I think my mom blessed with me with that backside, Rodriguez said. My dad is sort of short, so it wasn't him. She gave me the right foods, helped me develop a good body, that's really what the Jayhawks have to worry about, an opponent with swagger and ability. Seton Hall in the NCAA tournament in Wichita is about as anonymous as you can get. In front of their little section of fans from New Jersey, they survived a contest that featured 53 fouls and 66 free throws. Rodriguez, dripping with a rapid-fire New York accent, immediately started looking ahead. It's funny because I watched them, he said. I'm a fan of Kansas. Now I'm not no more. Their games are on TV a lot. Going through a variety of games, that's the best game on TV, I've been scouting them myself all year, after Kansas cruised against No. 16 seed pen, this is where the competition actually kicks in with the winner of the 8-9 game. Seton Hall's length, size and shooting look dangerous. The Pirates are 36-14 when Rodriguez is the leading scorer. For the 17th time they scored 80-plus, which ties the most since 2010. I've been a fan of Kansas since I came out of high school, Rodriguez said. It's good to watch good teams been watching them all year, they play kind of like us, free, four guards out, as long as we're referencing body parts, let's not forget Rodriguez's left ankle. He came off the bench Thursday only because some inept building manager couldn't figure things out last month. Back on Feb. 21, Rodriguez slipped on some condensation at Providence's Dunkin' Donut Center. Due to unseasonably warm temperatures that day, the court became slippery, with a nice rink underneath. The game was eventually postponed and completed the next day. Rodriguez missed three games and didn't play for two weeks due to the mishap. In that space, Seton Hall lost an overtime game to Villanova by one point. The Pirates were knocked out of the Big East Tournament quarterfinals by Butler, 75-74. Rodriguez returned in that game to play 16 minutes coming off the bench. I was pissed because of the injury, but at the same time I had confidence in my team, Rodriguez said. It hurts when you're not out on the floor, especially in your senior year. It sucks. I was doubting my season would be over. I never had an injury that bad, fully healed now, he's already looking forward to his own personal matchup. I'll say, guard LeGerald, because he likes to slash and move a lot, Rodriguez said. Which might put me on him, that little section of Pirates fans will need all the help it can. Their crowd was here yesterday for the practice, Rodriguez said. It looked like a game, 